Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a beachy wave look for medium to short hair, which is this look right here. So if you guys want to learn how to do this look, then keep watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below so we don't miss each other every week. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat as well. Have fresh hair. Ideally, if you have second or third day hair, even better because you can add dry shampoo, which will give this look more texture. My favorite dry shampoo is by Big Sexy Hair. I find it gives your hair the most beautiful texture and make sure that any and all grease or oil that you may have from buildup in your hair is completely gone once you spray it in. So what I normally do if I'm using it, it will just spray it in my roots, under here, under this side. The other thing that you will need is sea salt spray. My absolute favorite, which you've seen in past videos, is by Davinus. This is their, it's just a basic sea salt spray for full bodied beach looks. And then the only other thing you will need is a curling wand. What's great about this look is it will turn out a little different every single time. You want the end look to not be too, too perfect. So I'm just sectioning off a top portion of my hair. Now, because I have more fine hair, even though I do have a lot of it, I'm going to turn my wand down just to 300. I find that works for me. If you have thicker hair, obviously you will need the heat to be a little bit higher. Grab a chunk of my hair at the back. It doesn't have to be a perfect section. They're typically about one inch that I grab. And I'm just going to wrap it around the wand. I'm not going right to the root, and I'm gonna hold it for about 10 seconds just to give it a little bit of a curl, but not overly curly. I'll drop it and you see I've got a little bit of a curl there. And then I'm just going to grab another random section. I'm not doing this neatly or tidy. And I'm gonna grab it around the other way just so that when this looks done, you're not gonna have all of your curls wrap in the same direction. And this is one of the reasons why I love this for short hair is because it really doesn't take a long time. I'm normally someone that likes to flat iron her hair and recently I've gotten more into this look just because it's so incredibly fast in the morning. So I've sectioned my under part. Now once I've done that, I'm gonna set my curling wand down for a second and I'm just going to take some of my sea salt spray and just lightly spray it into, whoops, into the hair and just sort of scrunch it just to give it a little bit of texture and to make it sort of messy as we go. Once you have the bottom curls started, what I like to do is let the rest of my hair down. And then because I don't want it to be perfect, I don't mind that the curls on the bottom are sort of loose or falling, which is why I haven't sprayed anything yet. But what I am gonna do before I start now is take the sea salt spray and texturize it up top. And I'm just gonna spray it all over my hair. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit just before I start on the top portions of my hair. And now when I go in with my curler, things will start to hold a little bit better, or I find they do for me anyway. And I'm just gonna go through the top section now and do the same thing I did on the bottom, just rotating the curls just for about 10 or 15 seconds. So you can see the side is pretty messy. So what I'm gonna do once more is spray a little bit more sea salt spray. And I'm just going to rub my fingers all on in there. The curls are still a little bit warm, but that's totally fine. And I've definitely got a little bit more volume in my hair right now. But we're gonna come back to that in just a sec. And just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, I'm also going to take a little bit of Big Sexy Hair's spray or hairspray. This is called their spray and play. And also just put this into the ends of my hair right now. And then again, just run it through my hair. And then after that, you just sort of pull your fingers through everything, just so everything's imperfect and you're kind of separating it a little bit. And the end result is this sort of messy beachiness. Now for me, I cannot stand big bangs in the sweep in the front, it's just not me. And I like to take my bangs and just pull them gently and place a bobby pin right in there, just to sweep them out of the way and then pull some of the hair from the back just sort of over top. You can pull the curls down if you want, but again, it's supposed to be this sort of imperfect, messy, just sort of easy going curl. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below so we don't miss each other. And other than that, I love you so much and I will see you all next week. See ya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into July favorites.